Welcome to Passionate Pursuit. Join me, Eric, and my wife, Rachel, as we learn to follow Jesus into greater things. I wanted something a little bit more, I guess, for us normal Christians (laughs) that walk around in a fog half the time going, hey, I know Jesus is awesome and he does cool things, but uh, how do I see that brought out in my life more? Hi, and thanks so much for joining us on our first episode of Passionate Pursuit. I'm Eric. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Rachel. Hi. And we're just going to take some time to talk about how we decided to start this podcast. Yeah, so the other night, Eric came over to me and he had this idea, and I was pretty excited about it. So, Eric, what what was your idea and what led to what led to the formation of it? Well, as you know, I've enjoyed a lot of podcasts and YouTube videos and things like that, typically on the political side of things. And I was noticing that when it came to faith stuff, there was a lot of preaching, which I love preaching. I love teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, But there felt like there was a gap in availability of kind of more long form discussion. Mm -hmm. And I was really enjoying that when it came to politics, I was really enjoying just hearing people talk and share their journey, their thoughts, you know, they can challenge each other and just kind of really pull out different thoughts. And and you got, I was getting a much bigger perspective on the world by listening to people sit down for 45 minutes, an hour and just talk. Mm -hmm. Um, about their ideas and I really wanted to see that brought over to the to the Christian world and it was just kind of an idea that sat in the back of my head for a while and I didn't really know where to take it because I'm not a theologian yeah (laughs) (laughs) and there's plenty of theologians out there that would do a much better job of it than I would anyway they know what their stuff is they know who their audience is what things need to be taught anyway it just there's some really good guys out there, but they do a lot of teaching and um, I wanted something a little bit more, I guess for us normal Christians <laughs> that walk around in a fog half the time going, Hey, I know Jesus is awesome and he does cool things, but uh, how do I see that brought out in my life more? Hmm. And so, yeah, we were sitting there on the couch and I don't know what triggered it. I really don't remember at this point, but I just kind of looked at you and I'm like, Hey, Rachel, what if we just did this? And I kind of laid out this idea for doing a podcast and talking to people that we find interesting. Probably many of them are just (laughs) going to be our friends that, you know, we've done life with them. We've gone on a journey with them. And Mm -hmm. we said, oh, hey, this person has a cool story. Let's talk to them about what Jesus is doing in their life. Yeah. So in that sense, are we talking about politics then? No, no. We're talking about Christianity. I don't know. Maybe politics will come in at some (laughs) point. One of the things that has always been very near and dear to both of our hearts is the supernatural. Mm -hmm. And we, for lack of a better word, we're pursuing it. We want to see the power of God at work in our life, and we want to see the power of God at work in the world around us. Agreed. Um, And there's plenty of great teachings out Mm -hmm. there right like we love a lot of the teachings from randy clark and bill johnson bethel and i mean the list goes on i I can't even really cover them all um and those guys are great and we've learned a lot from them but there's that tension in our own life Mm -hmm. of figuring out how to bring it into our daily life right um, you know, we go through seasons mm-hmm. <laughs> of being really passionate in our pursuit of it. And other times we're like, oh, nothing's working. Woe is us. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, um, and I, I think if we're going through that, um, I'm assuming there's going to be at least a few other people that are probably going through that too. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> uh, we hope so. And that's, I think kind of where the heart for this came from is like, Hey, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe what we have to contribute is that people can join us on the kind of the journey we've been going on yeah. and join us in learning more. Mm-hmm. Um, we have some really cool friends um, yes, that do. do some really amazing things in their lives as they follow Jesus and hoping to bring some of that out, uh, hoping to hear from them, their stories, their journeys. They're also mostly just normal people following Jesus Mm -hmm. and learning to walk out in uh, his calling for their life with 
the supernatural specifically, um, mm-hmm. but then in everything, right? Mm-hmm. And learning to see that come about. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, um, I noticed that in the picture that you've created for our podcast that you have a verse. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. So as we sat around and kind of brainstormed uh, for names and kind of what was going on there, I think very quickly we just thought of, I don't remember who thought of it. I, I, can take I don't remember either. It, but we're one. We're one. <laughs> Mutual so it credit. Just, it Mutual comes credit. up pretty easy. So, yeah. Um, yeah. John 14, 12. And just the idea of there are greater things. Mm-hmm. And um, I think yeah. the whole verse is truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do. And greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. It's almost like you memorized that. <laughs> or read it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I've only memorized Psalms 23. You, well you should done. know that. Well done. <laughs> um, and that is a call for us as Christians, right? We're supposed mm-hmm. to step into the things that Jesus did and right. let alone the greater thing. I mean, uh, the, the grammar on that was probably messed up, but like, I can I can't do the greater things. I can barely do the things that he did. <laughs> right. I haven't raised the dead yet. I I don't know. I'm. I'd love to try. Uh, maybe not. Actually, <laughs> I think if anything, I probably would be good at driving a person out of a temple. Like you know, like. <laughs> but I don't you know that that's. That one down. <laughs> I don't know that that's the one that I should be trying to attain to. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think I would be able to get away with that one. <laughs> I said I could do it. I don't know if I could get away with it. I'd probably get arrested. Um, But yeah, so there's, there's just so much there and Mm -hmm. we're all trying to become like Jesus. Mm -hmm. We all want to walk that out. Like from the fruits of the spirit and the the character side of thing, Mm -hmm. as well as the works, we want to care for the widow and the orphan. We want to care for our neighbors. Well, Mm -hmm. we want to pull them up out of their situation. We want to be a light to this world. We want to be salt. And uh, we being us as a couple, but, in our family, as well as I think just all Christians. I don't know many Christians that love Jesus that don't want to be better, better as a person and better as a light or better Mm. as salt to the world. They want to see the world change for better. I think it's really an innate trait that us as human beings received from God when he created us is this desire to do better, Mm. to make the world better. And, you know, it can get very skewed. Like, there's yeah. a lot of people's just, they're not sure how to make the world better, but they want to make the world better. And it can <laughs> yes. become very misguided, both Christians and non-Christians, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's really where it's coming from. We want to make the world better. We want to step into those things. We want to live like Jesus on this earth. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that was kind of the call. Like, if you could put it that way, the call to do this was born out of the desire of the call to follow in Jesus' footsteps, mm. in Jesus' footsteps, to the call to do what he did and do those greater things. So, yeah, that's where greater things, John fourteen twelve, kind of came up really quickly in our conversation. So I noticed that you started to tear up on that last part. Do you know what was going on in your heart? Um. The short answer would be, I guess, the Holy Spirit was doing something. Um, the longer answer, or maybe a bit more introspective, would be me just be coming from that place where don't feel like I always live up to it. Hmm. And so there's that desire there. There's that hope hmm. to do better. Yeah. So I think that might be why why it touched a heartstring. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. So do you want to talk about the name or the picture that you chose at all? or um, Not much on the picture. It was a cool <laughs> picture that I think just captured the emotion of it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it just worked. Um, the name, again, we were just sitting around brainstorming names and kind mm-hmm. of throwing a few mm-hmm. things out there. And I think we had some cool ones. We did, yeah. They were um, pretty fun. I think one of the more simple ones was just the pursuit. Mm-hmm. And it found that there's probably plenty of other podcasts with that right. name. <laughs> so that didn't really work out there. I remember that. And then one of the ones that we came up with was like pursuing the greater things, but then we just kind of felt a like it was long. a little too much. Yeah. It didn't roll off the tongue. It didn't sound right. And just 
kind of got that passionate pursuit because it, it is a passion. Mm-hmm. It is what we want to see happen. Again, we go in and out of seasons of how passionate we are about it. <laughs> but we're passionate about Jesus. We're passionate about living like him on this earth. And mm-hmm. so as we pursue the greater things, it's a passion for Jesus that drives us. So passionate pursuit. That's just where we landed. It sounded right. Yeah. And um, I, don't, I mean, it's kind of cool to see how sometimes things come together. Mm-hmm. Not saying that this is like, the most epic thing in the world. But for (laughs) us, it's pretty cool right now. It's definitely something fun to be focusing on. It's pretty quickly that we had a whole list of names of people that we could talk talk Mm -hmm. with and interview. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I know for me, I'm excited because I get to reconnect with friends (laughs) and I get to hear really (laughs) cool stories. Yeah. I'm excited to just be able to um, pick, other people's brains and not in a vulture kind of way. Ew. Um, <laughs> Thanks for going there. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a meme. <laughs> oh, but no. I won't go there. Two vultures sitting on a couch. Okay, I'll go there. Two vultures were sitting on a couch watching oh, uh, the TV, and the one vulture said, I'd love to pick that guy's brain. And the other guy says, Who? Einstein? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's long gone by now. Probably. I don't know. Maybe it's anyway, we won't go there. We digress. Totally digress. But okay. So getting back to the actual topic is just it in like I, a lot of this was born out of the desire to just have conversations and Mm -hmm. hear people's thoughts and draw them out and not have it be a being taught at, but a conversation with. Mm -hmm. And I, I was thinking of one of the, great conversations that you and I had was with a friend named Jay. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how many hours we were with him, but it started out four to six hours. Who knows? Right. Just as a general conversation. And, but the more we got into it, the more we brought things up, we started, Oh man, he's got something there that we just wanted to pull this thread. Mm -hmm. And as we started to pull at that thread, it just kind of kept coming and coming and coming. And then it just, blew up into this huge long conversations where we went to dinner and we sat across the table and basically barely ate while we jawed with our jaws, just dropped open <laughs> listening to his stories and asking him questions. I'm sure he felt yeah. pestered by us because we were asking so many questions. <laughs> Jay, tell us more about this. Jay, what about this? Yeah. Wow. This is so cool, Jay. And, um, and we also found that on some of our classes that we've done with other people about learning the supernatural, right? Where we mm-hmm. got a dialogue back and forth and go, man, I feel like this is where I should be living. Or I think this is how this might work. Mm-hmm. And just begin to explore those things with them, not going for like a textbook kind of answer. Right. But really trying to hash out how do we live this out on a daily basis. Yep. And of course, encouraging them, each other, you know, man, I'm really frustrated in this. And then, you know, they'd speak into our lives and say, it's okay, keep going. And there's the encouragement there. There's the mutual building up and then the prayer for each other. And just all those things kind of rolled up into this great community where you learn to pursue Jesus more. Hmm. That sounds awesome. And so what can a what can a listener expect to find on one of our podcasts? A lot of us? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out soon enough. That's um, true. And again, this is really, I think, coming from a place about you and I mm-hmm. and the journey that we're on. So what people are going to expect to find if they tune in is just us on a journey. Hmm. It's these are things that we're I passionate like that. about, things that we're we're hoping to learn more in, to be encouraged and to dive deeper into. Right. And so a listener is really going to discover quickly that this is more about us than them, that we're here in this journey for us. <laughs> and we hope that other people are going to be blessed by it. We hope that other people are going to be on that same journey that we are. And um, I don't know, maybe we'll see a community develop out of this. Maybe a few people will be blessed by it and that's good enough. Um I don't know. We'll see where the Holy Spirit takes it. But I think, yeah. So for a typical podcast, what what do you think it will turn out to look like? So I was being too philosophical and I need to get down to the nitty gritty. (laughs) Okay. Sounds good. Um, Focus in a little. Focus in a little. Well, what we're hoping to do is each time to have a guest come on that we interview. Mm -hmm. And um, these are going to be 
more long form discussions. And if they get too long, we'll break them into multiple episodes. So they're a little bit more easy to digest, but. And how long are you thinking? uh, 45 minutes, an hour. We'll see. We're kind of have to play with that as we go and find that right sweet spot to really draw out these ideas, to really talk through things, to hear people's stories. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to invite them on. Maybe we'll have a theme or a topic that we're going for, but in Mm. general, it's going to be about these people and their journey. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have questions for them. Just kind of try to draw out what Jesus is doing in their life, draw it out so that it can be applicable for us, that we can learn some things as well as give it to others to walk mm-hmm. away with and go, wow, I, good. it's really cool that other people are going through the same things I'm going through. They're learning the same things I'm learning. Or, wow, I never even thought of that I could learn that. <laughs> All right, so Jesus, do that one again. Yep. You know, And we'll have to see how that um, plays out. And, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I know on my heart, one of the things that I'm really excited about is the idea of impartation. And the idea that in yeah. the end of each episode, we're hoping that the the people the people that we're interviewing will pray an impartation over not just us but also over the listeners and i'm pretty yeah. excited about the different the different things that we can be expecting and looking forward to yeah it's going to be exciting i think one of the things that you and i have always had a passion for is prayer mm-hmm. um and part of that is being prayed for the impartation <laughs> we like it when people pray for us uh, i mean kind of give to us out of their life. Mm -hmm. So I'm really looking forward to that too. Um, And, you know, it's going to be exciting to see how the Holy Spirit brings all this together. Cause it's not just us, you know, like we're going to have our plan. We're going to have what we feel like God was leading us in as we go into it. But you know, God's doing something in this other person too. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they're going to be dropping a couple Holy Spirit, awesome bombs (laughs) on us, on the listener. And it's just, yeah, it's going to be exciting to see. Mm. what Jesus wants to do in our lives through this, not just the philosophical, not just the heady top stuff, but really kind of that nitty gritty of, okay, Jesus, what are you doing in my life through this? Mm -hmm. And really receiving that from the people that we talk to. Yeah, that's good. I'm excited. I am too. So should we do it? Let's do it, babe. Awesome. Well, we're going to do it. (laughs) So, yeah, thanks for everybody who came and gave us a little listen here to see what we're going to be doing, what this is all going to be about. Um, Thank you, Rachel, for doing this with me. I'm honored that my beautiful wife actually likes to sit around with me and talk (laughs) and have fun. So that's an exciting thing. Um, And thank you to all of our listeners. And we hope that you are blessed and join us um, as we release these episodes. And we look forward to hearing about what Jesus does in your life as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to our podcast.